video I actually want to tell you guys about uh, this upcoming trip that we're doing. It's uh, probably the biggest one yet that I've had in my uh, motorcycling journey. What's going on YouTube? 6.5 Rider here. Coming back to you with another, another moto vlog, baby. This bike is just insanely loud, man. <laughs> Over the past couple of months, I've uh, done a couple of changes on the bike. Um, nothing like super cosmetic or uh, performance oriented. I just uh, had a couple of updates that I needed to do and I did them. I got some uh, new rotors. I fixed uh, my front suspension a little bit. Uh, it was all messed up. If you haven't seen the last video, go check it out over here. I adjusted the rear suspension, which I still can't seem to get right, to be honest, because it's like uh, super stiff and I can feel every single bump, which is really annoying. So I still got to try to figure that out before the big trip that's coming up. And uh, that's actually what I want to talk to you guys about. Oh, and one more thing. I got a new seat. This is probably the fourth seat that I had on the bike. Still uh, trying to find a seat that's comfortable for me. You know, being a bigger guy, it's really hard to find a good seat. I went through the Corbin Widowmaker. I went through the Bad Boy Cycle Freedom Series Extended Seat. I went through the Lapera Outcast with the Daddy Long Legs configuration. And uh, I'm finally on a Lapera Kickflip, which uh, to be honest, looks the best out of all the seats. Uh, it's also the Daddy Long Leg configuration, but uh, it's a little hard, I'm not gonna lie. But it does, uh, have that little bit of back support that keeps me uh, keeps me setting good. But we'll talk about seats in a different video. In today's video, I actually want to tell you guys about uh, this upcoming trip that we're doing. It's uh, probably the biggest one yet that I've had in my uh, motorcycling journey. Uh, we're doing Sturgis, baby. Yeah, we're doing Sturgis for the 84th annual uh, Sturgis Rally. I'm super excited for it. That's uh, actually been a, a bucket list item of mine. And I uh, honestly can't wait for it. What are you doing? What an idiot. I hate riding in Florida. I really, really hate riding in Florida. I can't wait to move. But we'll talk about that in another video as well. So yeah, basically me and a couple of friends of mine from uh, down here in South Florida, we're gonna roll out to Sturgis on August 2nd. I wanna say we're a group of uh, seven people. There are actually three couples and then myself. If you guys don't know me or you haven't watched the channel before, you'll know that uh, the missus is not a rider. She does not fancy riding and uh, that's 100% okay because we live in America and uh, you can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> and that's her choice. She doesn't want to ride. She doesn't have to ride. I'm going to be there from the 2nd till the 8th. Um, and yes, I'm bringing my bike with me. And no, I'm not riding it over there. I know, I know. You can call me whatever you want. I know, I know, you in the back over there, I know. Bikes are meant to be ridden, I know. Um, it's a 2,300 mile trip from, from here. 2,300 miles. One, I don't have that much time off from work. Two, I don't feel like spending three days on the road just to get there and then be really tired and broken to actually enjoy the rally and all the rides that uh, Sturgis, South Dakota has to offer. Those are, that's it. Those are the reasons. That's why I don't feel like uh, 
riding my bike all the way over there. And you can call me whatever you want to call me. It's all good. I'm cool with it. So how am I taking my bike? One of the guys in the group actually owns a trucking company and uh, does business with this transport guy who's also a rider, which is awesome. He's actually going to haul our bikes from down here, South Florida, all the way to Sturgis, South Dakota. He's uh, picking the bikes up, I believe, July 29th and uh, the bike should be delivered at the Airbnb the morning that we arrive in Sturgis. Which is pretty cool. Alright, so uh, I bought some shoes that had uh, some manufacturing defects on them and uh, I need to go return them and then uh, we'll pick this up. Oh, uh, here's the seat I was telling you guys about. The uh, Lapera kickflip. Such a sick looking seat. I mean, look at it. Ooh, bike's looking good. I just need to figure out the correct suspension settings. Or I might have to actually go spend money and completely change out the, the suspension. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out after, uh, after Sturgis. Uh, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna go inside, figure this whole return thing, and then uh, get right back to you guys. All right, later. A few moments later. All right, so we're back at the bike. Uh, fortunately they did not have my size, which is cool. I was gonna order it, but then I was like, you know what? Actually, I'm, I'm glad, uh, they didn't because I wasn't super convinced with the pair of shoes. It was the weirdest thing. I had a, had a manufacturing defect where, uh, one of the lace holes actually wasn't, like, you know, plugged. There was no hole. And, uh, it was weird. But anyway, it's all good. Oh, one thing I uh, forgot to mention too. I also got new tires. So as you can imagine, it's like a, a whole different bike right now. But she still rips, bro. It's just so freaking loud, dude. So what the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, Sturgis. So like I said, uh, we'll be shipping out the bikes. Uh, bikes get picked up on July 29th. Get dropped off at Sturgis on August 2nd. And then I'm gonna have the bike that entire week. I leave on the 8th and my bike actually gets picked up on the 9th because uh, some, of the, uh, some of the crew are still gonna hang out and uh, and Sturgis for an extra day. I need to get back. So I'm actually uh, really, really excited about the trip because uh, one, I've never been to that whole area, you know, the South, the Dakotas, Wyoming, whatever. I think it's uh, Midwest, maybe. I always wanted to go there, but also, always wanted to have my bike there with me and that's uh, something I'm definitely excited about so like I said the Airbnb is actually gonna be somewhere in uh, Rapid City so I don't know 45 50 minutes to uh, actual Sturgis which is pretty cool and uh, there's gonna be a bunch of us in the same house gonna be pretty dope uh, we're gonna do a lot of the events out there you know hit up uh, Black Hills Harley Davidson check out all the vendors I'll be uh, first or second third day maybe I'll be at the SBC tent because uh, I need to get a primary cover installed and they have the sickest primary covers and uh, I really want to get one uh, I might also hit up custom dynamics because I need to do something about the rear end of my bike. I just really don't like the, the stock look. So yeah, those are the uh, few things that I'll be doing on my bike. And then uh, the, the rest of the time we're, you know, planning to do all the all the recommended rides. You know, I head up the, the Needles Highway, check out the Devil's Tower, check out Mount Rushmore. If you guys have any recommendations on, uh, on good rides, make sure to Throw them in the comments down below. By the way, I've been uh, experimenting with a new Moto Vlog setup. I've actually uh, transitioned uh, to the dark side. 
I am no longer a GoPro moto vlogger. Ouch. That hurt. Oh. Stupid suspension keeps bottoming out. I uh, might have to actually spend the money and go legends, man. Because this is this is no way to live. <laughs> no way to live. I'm just struggling. Or if I can find somebody who knows suspensions and have them uh, dial it out for me. I don't know. But yeah, I switched over to the uh, DJI because I kept having... Uh, issues with the GoPro, whether it's uh, recording issues or it's audio issues, just non-stop, you know. It served me good for uh, about two years and uh, it was just time to switch out and go to a different setup. Uh, I'm still kind of working out some kinks with the mic and the audio, trying to figure out where it should actually be placed in my microphone, so uh, Pardon the bad quality if it is. I don't know yet. I won't be able to tell for, you know, another few hours when I, until I go and actually start editing this video. We'll see how it is. I know the video quality is like next to none. Uh, I know it's like really, really freaking good. I just uh, don't know about the audio and how it is because it's my first time testing this out with a wired mic because at first I got their uh, DJI mic 2 which is great and it's wireless it just uh, you gotta set it up somewhere precisely inside your helmet and uh, make sure it doesn't fall or whatever plus I last time I recorded I picked up too much of the bike noise and too little of my voice and that was kind of annoying so hopefully uh, the wired setup uh, works out for me anyway if you're gonna be in Sturgis anytime between August 2nd and the 8th and you randomly you know see my bike or see me or whatever feel free to stop me and say hello give me all the feedback you got on the channel because uh, Lord knows I need that feedback Uh, Rogla, Rogla, baby, Rogla does tea. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, seeing hundreds of thousands of bikers. <laughs> That's gonna be super exciting. Anyway, if you've uh, enjoyed this, uh, don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and uh as always man we'll see y'all on the next one later